Well, hello. Hopefully you can hear me. It is a slightly different backdrop today. We're running on slightly reduced bandwidth as well. So uh, Luna May is watching a film in the corner. So she's hoping there's enough bandwidth for me to do this and her to watch a film until we do the live quiz. So please do let me know if we start dropping out because she'll be very disappointed. But she has promised to turn off the uh, to turn off the film. Hello to everybody in the chat already and i will explain a little bit more about what's going on very soon hello to rabbi but who was in first who was in for eml sound was in at 10 to midday only seven and a quarter hours before the stream so that is exceptionally good closely followed at 10 to the stream by carl phoenix hello get so many music philip and nikki morgan juniper azio head is it Azi? i've always said azio head martin taylor uh there's so many there's like 50 people already in this chat with loads and loads hey jen s Thank you for joining us. Olmor Frazzle with the best name in the world. Keith in Watford, hello to you. Uh, loads of scroll right the way down. I won't be able to, to include you all. Inky the Cat is also in the chat, thank goodness. She's the moderator with the spanner, keeping everything uh, nice and uh, organized. Not that any of you lovely lot ever need to, um, to be kind of told what to do. Hello to Carl Bedford. Kent Spong, the amazing Kent Spong. I'm afraid I don't have Kent Spong. Can you tell me what's wrong jingles? at the moment. Uh, Lady Aptitude, hello to you. Um, yeah, I mean, just hello to everyone. There's a few new names as well. Um, we are on a weekend break in uh, undisclosed location in the middle of nowhere. Um, but hopefully we can bring this to you. So uh, with, with our fingers crossed. So we are running slightly, slightly kind of um, lighter than usual. So no sense behind me. Laptop. I have a, I have a the wiggly horn going off 20, 20 pounds from Kent Spong already. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I couldn't bring the uh, the Mr. Wiggly horn with me. However, I have <laughs> the next best thing. So thank you so much, Mr. Kent Spong. You are epic <laughs> and wonderful. Oh, and thank you. you so, so much, Wagyu, for the 10 CHF, which is roughly the same. I've worked it out as uh, USDs, I think. And... Robert Fat Dust House, there is a horn, sir. There absolutely is a horn. Except it's on the end. <laughs> it's on the end of this. Uh, I bought my stream deck with me. Yeah, it's usually it's got very, very like a massive studio behind super, it. Super, super impressed with, with me for bringing all this kit with us. Um, but we do seem to have internet and it is holding. Thank you so much for those donations. Um in case you're not aware, if you've joined because of the wonderful person that, that is Mark Gardner, who will be up in any second, um, we are uh, raising money always for Luna May's favourite charity, which is Great Ormond Street Hospital. Um, so, great. I mean, we're in the top 10 fundraisers, I think, for Great Ormond Street. It's absolutely wonderful. So any super chats, donations, that kind of thing, uh, get a horn. <laughs> And also go to uh, Great Ormond Street. And goodness me, there's more. Thank you so, so much, Jen S. for 1799. It's absolutely wonderful. And to David Surcheck for the $5 as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I make up the difference. YouTube take a little bit. We make up the difference at this end, and it all goes through to them. As of last week, we had raised £3,100. Uh, and because of travelling and whatever, I can't actually see what we did from last week. I actually forgot to do it during the week and came away without realising. So I will total up everything uh, in time for next week so we know exactly what's going on. But, um, you know, people like Kent Spong, Richard Hilton, everybody in the chat has been absolutely wonderful. Um, I've got, I'm noticing I'm probably knocking this laptop on this table, so I'm just going to rearrange it like that. Um, we have the mother of all, or the father of all guests today. Um, so uh, those of you who may know in the chat about Clown Fest, about Pierre the Acid Clown, a guy called Mark Gardner, who most of us probably came across through Facebook, I would probably imagine. Um, Ken Lewis saying, for someone that loves his sampler, why didn't he sample the Wiggly Horn? I know. I know. I was testing this with Kent Spong last night to see if the bandwidth was fine. And he said, why didn't you sample the horn? And I, I literally didn't. Such a good idea. Such a good idea. Andrew Brooks, you are a god amongst men. Thank you very, very much indeed for the five pounds as well. This is just flying. It's so, 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 so brilliant of you. And, and uh, 
such a wonderful, wonderful thing. Luna May is like blown away. We're all blown away by this. And Great Ormond Street, in case you didn't know, is an amazing children's hospital based in the UK. They do absolutely wondrous things. And actually, I was surprised the number of people in chat who've contacted me saying, oh, uh, my child or a child I knew or you know, grandchildren or whatever um, saved their life or they were amazing for them is, is incredible. It's obviously touched so many people's lives. They do an incredible job. Um, anyway, Mark Gardner might have come across him through live gigs or through Facebook. Uh, five years ago, I wrote a little blurb around the YouTube thing that gave a little bit of the backstory. But five years ago, probably wasn't the happiest chap in the world, still playing out, but decided to kind of change things up, invented, I'm sure he'll tell us the whole story a little bit clearer, but invented a character uh, and stuck with it. I think that's the key thing here. He absolutely stuck with it. And he's developed a, um, a, a kind of, just a wonderful uh, unit, a, a wonderful kind of collective is probably the best word of people, um, clown army style people who uh, fundamentally, I suppose, evolved around a thing called the URL, which is not a uniform resource locator, as in the, the web side of things, but is the Unsigned Review Live, which was a thing I think him and uh, Oliver Gold set up uh, four or five years ago, probably around about that time where people could just submit their tracks as long as they were unsigned and get some feedback. And it wasn't a, 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 a competition as such. <laughs> well, hey, Thorsten, Tobias Hines, lovely to hear from you, sir. Thank you. Have a blast. All great almonds uh, collection rocks and the horn goes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thorsten. Love to you and your family. And as I mentioned last week, what fabulous news. Your wife is so, so much better, which is which is just brilliant. I think life is back to normal. So that's a good year for you. Uh, yeah, so the URL was submit your track, get some feedback, but different in that it's a positive thing, generally. Uh, there was, everything was super, super positive, revolving around this URL. So positive suggestions on how to make the track better, um, how to make the track better. Um, Richard Hilton! My goodness me, we'll get to we'll get to Mark in a minute. Thank you, sir. The amazing Richard Hilton. If you're not aware of Richard, he just is the well, go back uh, about uh, I suppose 10, 15 shows when Richard Hilton came on. Um, the most amazing man I think I know. He's worked with absolutely everybody, but he's also the most humble, clever, talented musician in the world. Check him out on um Sonic State every Wednesday, but just incredible. Thank you, sir. It's uh, really, really kind of you um, to donate in that way. Thank you. Uh, and he's over in the UK at some stage, coming over the summer. So uh, he plays keyboards for Chic, if you didn't know. I know they're playing some gigs over here, so hopefully we can all catch up, maybe get him an in-person, which would be exceptional. So the URL was a very positive thing. We'll let him talk about it more. I think we'll just get straight into it. But um, it has evolved into a thing which has encompassed Clownfest, which is an online, hopefully real world, sort of real stage in a field somewhere, um, uh, gig, kind of collective gig, if you like, 10 days, Clown Clownfest 8, all right, for starters. So it's got to be three or four years old. I can't believe how fast this has gone. 10 days of streaming encompassing special days. I mean, incredible stuff so the man is busy he's very tired he definitely doesn't get paid enough for doing this um, but hopefully this is building into uh, such a kind of force for good that things will really start to happen as uh, covid begins to fade away gigs come back into the real world and so forth so without further ado let me introduce you to the man himself mark gardner how are you doing sir Hooray! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good, Dom. Thank you very much for having me on your show once again. It's an absolute pleasure, sir. It's absolutely pleasure. Um, you were the very first guest that we had before this was really a show. Inky said, oh, someone, oh, Jamie was doing, Jamie Morden, who was actually a brilliant guest last week, was on yep, so Sundays on. with his show. He stopped doing it and, and Inky was like, well, someone's got to go and do something. So I said, well, I can go on and chat to Mark. Maybe it'll turn into something. And this is the 45th show. <laughs> Which is incredible. But anyway, much respect to you, sir. I mean, what can I say? Where do we start? Uh, perhaps it'd be worthwhile knowing some of the history. But I mean, do you just want to talk about the, the thing that was Clownfest first? Because it's <laughs> literally just finished. You've had no sleep. You're still, I think, uploading sets from the yeah. whole thing. I mean, still got three days to go. <laughs> <sighs> 
but yeah, no, Clown Climb, Fest Eight was was absolutely amazing. You say you say I'm busy, but for this one, I did I did absolutely nothing. I handed out eight day seven days to different promoters, and I said organize the music, and if you want to host, you can host as well. And they did. They all they all ran off, and they all got artists from Clown Army or not from Clown Army or should be in Clown Army. Uh, so it it grew so much more. Uh, because there was different people involved in it, and literally, I, I, uh, everyone was like, "Delegate, delegate, delegate." So I did. Uh, started delegating to people, and uh, and all of them came through like top notch, like so so well. Hardware jams, sixty people in there uh, in their day. It was yeah, an eleven hours worth of streaming. I'm like, this is going to be like. Uh, I can't use that word. This is going to be a car crash. Uh, and, uh, yeah. and, and, you know, it wasn't. They, and they, they ran an hour over time, but the, the day ran really nicely. The acts were amazing. You know, I, th I thought they're going to struggle. They're going to struggle. I struggled with 22 and eight hours. How are they going to get on with like yeah. 60, you know? But it honestly, was so they, professional. I don't know if yeah. everyone in the chat caught it. Obviously, it's all available on, on YouTube and the individual sets are now yeah. almost all uploaded, which is what Mark's yeah. just talking about. But yeah, the, I... I I did the same. I was lucky enough to play on the first day, which made oh. I kind of chill out for, for the next time. Um, whoops, run live. Oh, no, Frazzle, the best name in the world. 20 euros. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Sir. That's so, so kind of you. Um, really, really very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I could kind of chill out for the, for the other nine. And also it felt a little bit like not a warm up, but quite chilled. You know, it was all. It was a. It wasn't the kind of dance oriented. It was. It was the kind of unmike, un, 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 yeah, yeah, unsequenced, kind off grid of, kind of thing. Off grid, it, that's the word. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, honestly, Jim Prendergast, who who also does the, the Dot Live uh Kleinfest site, uh did that day. And honestly, his his range of music is just unbelievable. Yeah. Like uh every time he do, he does something for Kleinfest, he's kind of changing his style a little bit. He was Jimmy Blues this time and Jimmy Falker last time. So this time he showed us what on the piano. Honestly, his range of of uh, and oh my good God. Oh my it was just I love that day. I absolutely love the unplugged day because like you say, it's so chilled. Uh and yeah. Yeah, and for Clank Clank Fest, for me, as soon as I wasn't hosting a day, it was lovely because I could be a punter at yes. my own festival. You know, yes. I would just get to sit back and I watch watch whatever is going to unfold unfold in front of me, and I'm just like, it doesn't matter what I do today. You know, I can. You know, ah. What was incredible, I mean, because also the, the you talked about the the um, live uh, the Hardware Jams day, and. That's always a mixed bag because everyone is at so many different levels of abilities and so many yeah. different levels of kit. Yeah. Um, but they had 10 minutes a set. Normally on Clownfest, and one of the things I absolutely love about it is it's 20-minute sets. Yeah. So if there's a, an artist that's just not to your taste or style that's not your taste, you still watch it because, you know, you want to see who's on next. And generally yeah. the standard, I mean, is, is absolutely astonishing. But, you know, it's a great – if you've got to combine a set into 20 minutes, you're not, like, necessarily a DJ who's building into the whole thing over the course of two hours. You know, you've got time for two or three songs if you're doing songs you've got yep. you know, very hard um but the 10 minutes that they allocated because there was 60 not 30 people on hardware jam state was incredibly cohesive i was, oh, I was yeah. absolutely amazed the whole and, the whole the, host, the whole thing everything was just it was it was beautiful it mm. really really was like you say co so it flowed it went really well and apparently like 10 minute sets for clang fest is like a step back well not a step back you know what i mean but like a cut down yeah. version yeah. but 10 minutes to hardware jams is is double what they usually do because in their challenges it's they only five do five minutes. minutes yeah so it was it like even though it was like you know not quite what we do at Clown Fest. It was pushing right. what Luxury. they did at Hardware Jams, you know. So, like, yeah, good, good, good things will rain, really. You know? Wow, 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 wow. And um, the the Golden Shrimp Guild, again, if you haven't come across it, that's primarily a Discord and Twitch uh, yeah. organization. Uh, also, we talked about that before, but go check those out because, again, that's live improv generally. Yeah. Um, just crazy. And they were handing people off, same as Hardware Jams. They were literally having presenters handing off to each other, somehow yeah. maintaining the stream, you know, so yeah. they were dropping yeah. in and out of the stream. Yeah. Um, well, and no. I know you say you managed to sit back. I think you hosted every every day bar too, though, to be fair. Seven. 
seven in the end and he was seven out of ten so yeah i only didn't host yeah. three but those three days were you know they were they were good but yeah the golden shrimp guild was was really funny it was like talk radio like everybody's got their different style of host you know yeah. and daniel kushner just like invited people on and was like hey buddy how's it going man you know just chatting like crap over not not crap though, <laughs> chatting, yeah, you know, right. nonsense over the music you know and it was just like this is brilliant you know so i'm kind of sat here you know just i was sat here with a couple of friends actually watching that day uh, and yeah we were just like this is hilarious you know it was it was just genuinely eye-opening i think everyone pulled yeah. out all all the, and and like i say it's not that the quality has never uh never been high it's just the consistency that you're that you're up against um, you know, you, basically, you see someone, and it's like that's act of the night for me. That's a track of the night, and then the next person yeah. comes as well. Yeah. And she just don't want to think they've got, <laughs> and then it just carries on throughout the whole day. What, yeah, were, the, what were the real highlights for you in terms of acts over the ten days? Oh my God, Tony Duncan as the false flag document on the drum and bass day. Jesus Christ, what a set! Like what set? Didn't expect that from him. Didn't realize he no. did drum and bass in that way. It was as as aggressive mm -hmm. as 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 it was dark. It was it was not. Harley, it was it just it yeah. stood out for me, you know, massively. And uh, and Zappa on on my day, uh, uh, apparently that was a new set for him. Oh, I, and saw was kind of, I saw both of them actually, but yeah, wow, just yeah, just was... absolute quality, absolute Amazing. quality. And him yeah. himself is is proud of it, and you know, and it just kept getting better and better through. Mm. But literally, the whole festival for me is it was you know to 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 say I started it back when lockdown started, just because like I, I wasn't going to be very productive. Um, and, and now we're eight deep, two years in, you know, Clown Fest 10 might be in, in an actual field. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at uh, a venue in July. Um, I can't say too much about it because they want to keep it a little yeah. bit low key and it'll just be ticketed and there'll be 250 people there. And I think that's a great way to start off. Mm -hmm. Unless you've got 15K you want to lend me. No, <laughs> <not that>. uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. not, that's not box, I mean, back pocket not stuff. It's not impossible. If is that no. the kind of money that you're looking at? Because you can crowdfund. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 10. It, fifteen may be stretching, but I'm yeah. Well, it. you're looking at a, a venue, and you, for three days, you're looking at four k to like six k. Mm. You know, for a venue, and it's like, yeah. ouch! That's before I've even got an axe in. What the hell? You know, or, yeah. or tents, or or security, yeah. or or you, you know, or whatever else. You know, I have to provide. And and also and for the first one, I mean. You've obviously learned, we've all learned a lot over Clownfest. I mean, yeah. the first one to jump in at the deep end like that, it's so easy to make some mistakes on it. Um, oh, I, I used to put on nights and I've lost so much money on nights. You know, it's, it's a massive money put. Uh, I, I ran for four years when I did my nights and we did, I think it was 21 parties, spent £38,000 and lost eight grand. Wow. That's not bad. That's like five hundred pound party. I was happy with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When it goes well, it goes well. Yeah. But yeah. Dank uh, is saying that he'd lend you five fifteen k, but he spent it all on lottery tickets. So we'll yeah. <laughs> that's that's Daniel Kushner again from from the Golden. Oh Trump yes, of course it is. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, that man's that man's a legend. Him and um, Professor Dick to beat you put him at those two in a chat group, and they yeah, yeah. just pop off at each other the Absolutely. entire time. Well, it's both of those guys hilarious. are previous guests on on the live stream, yeah. on the Sunday live stream. Yeah, so, I've seen both. I mean, I've seen both. Just, just epic people. So, so um, thank yeah. Live AF in the in the chat is Daniel Kushner, who is um is actually a mod on Simply Synthesizers. If you've come across yeah. the group on Facebook, but and more to Dawless, the point, I think. Oh, is it Dawless? Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. Um, but more to the point, he runs the Golden Shrimp Guild, which he would explain why they're called the Golden Shrimp Guild. But it's primarily uh, a uh, they, they run um, the Synth Fest, which is once every couple of months is it or every month i think um, it's monthly which is amazing which is like yeah. a, a three day it's not dissimilar to clown fest yep, it's yep. a, a twitch based kind of do 20 minute half an hour set no two hour sets that's two, right yeah, yeah. Monster, that's monster. That to me. yeah do a two hour set then pass off to the next person on twitch but what it does do is it gets you a lot of twitch followers and gets a lot of attention for your stuff is where i originally oh. heard movement 81 i think which are oh, movement are, 81 rock that was a that was a set as well wasn't it i mean just yeah uh, just amazing. So I'd love to get them on. Um, what else was I going to say apart from moving out? Tony Duncan, also a previous guest, funnily enough, on here. Worth worthwhile checking back on. I knew him through Facebook, through a group we were both in, um, when he was just on I iPads. So he was making great tracks on iPads, um, but not in the same league as, as where he is now. And then he switched. And I remember him sort of sending messages saying, you know, 
asking questions about Ableton, which at the time I wasn't using either, you know, and, and sort of getting into it and then exploding overnight. There he is actually in the chat, which is great. Um, and producing this sort of dark pop, Depeche mode kind of driving, I call it rock synth, if you like, you know, it's rock yep. synth without guitars, you know, and suddenly, and I actually remember taking the mickey out of him because he said, oh, I really want to be on Clownfest. So you said, sign up. And he got all his family and friends to vote for him. <laughs> and I remember going, no, you, that's not in the spirit of it, is it? You know, but thank goodness they did. So apologies for that, Tony, way back, way back when, because honestly, you were, you were an absolute highlight. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. So in terms of taking it further, I mean, <sighs> You've got this this one venue that you're scouting. I mean, what do you need like a tour manager to start a person? What would you need on board the team to kind of perhaps help moving forward who may be watching or may know someone might want to get involved? That's a that's a very, very good question. Uh until I get to the venue, I don't know what they're they're licensed to do. You know, mm. I know it's it's an open air place and they've got three stages. Uh I think it's it's the it's in it's an old farm, I think. Uh mm. but like we're gonna need bar, we're gonna need door staff, we're gonna need St. John's ambulance, we're gonna need, you know, I suppose if we keep it keep the numbers kind of low, like we may not need all that but like anybody who's got any help you know yeah, yeah. in this this kind of thing like i like literally i threw clang fest together because it was it was lockdown i expected it to last like six months a year at, at, at the best and then like we'd forget about that and we'd all go back to doing gigs you know now it's two years yeah. down the road and everyone's like let's do a real one i'm like oh that sounds like a lot of work yeah, like, who's gonna do that yeah you can do that mark oh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'll shoulder that button. Oh, oh, big up. Oh, they're all here, which is absolutely fantastic. Big up Movement 81. If you haven't seen Movement 81, just go search them up on YouTube. Most amazing mix of modular and synth and just perfect attention to I don't know, the yeah, flow. detail, nuances, yeah, thought, flavor, feel. Just yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Mega stars in the making. Most, most definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, perhaps, right, sorry, carry on. Well, there's a lot of that going on, you know, in the URL, in Clangfest, in Hardware Jams, and you know, there's a lot of fuck. No, <clears throat> there's a lot of talent going on in in you know in this community that we've got. Not just you know, like and it's it's it, we're, we're all part of the Facebook community. You, yeah. Hardware Jams, uh, Sonic State, you know, uh, we're all in that. You know, Hardware Dollars, the whole. We're all in this collective. You know, we're all in this. It's not just Clan Army. You know, people only come to Clan Army to tell dirty jokes that they can't say in other groups. <laughs> You know, yeah. and they keep themselves respectable in like simply synthesizers. Or, uh, you know. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's obviously people like Grace Griffin, who's an amazing live sound engineer. Not that she's putting on gigs, but you know, maybe there's someone that we can call in on. It's um, it's oh, very well, well known within this. Yeah, in terms of 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 putting on something like this. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like live Nation. Someone. Oh, I used to work at Live Nation. I've done that kind of stuff before. You know, this is this is how. Yeah, you know, this is what not to do. Actually, it's probably what you want to know. Um, yeah. What. Well, I, I can supply the music. That's not a problem. I can, you know, and I can stage my, I can get everybody on stage and do everything. And that's what I can do. I can host the thing. Mm -hmm. I just need a venue. And like, you know, if someone's like, here's your venue, Mark, you've got like 12 hours to fill for that's four days. Go do it. You know, like, like I, that's what I love. Instead of having to go, right, where am I getting the sound system from? What yeah, yeah. From? And the hot dog stores yeah. and the, uh, uh, I need to swore again. And the toilets, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. it, There's yeah. a swear embargo on the stream because he's yeah. actually watching the uh watching the movie at the moment no i said i wouldn't i'm not gonna <laughs> Thank you. um yeah well if anyone is watching and they want to get involved um absolutely as well you know if you want to play um get enrolled on the yeah, url yeah. look up uh, unsigned review live on facebook or piero the acid clown live on facebook uh, there'll be links underneath here just get involved if you've not actually yeah. been a part of it it's the most positive musical experience i think i've had for a very very long time it's very it's exactly as i wrote about it below the, the youtube video. it's it's just very life affirming in terms of there's no jealousy there's no negativity you know occasionally someone might get a bit grumpy about something but it's part of a collective that is kind of pushing towards the common good and it clearly works it's obviously touching the right strings and the right nerves and the right hearts because it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger every time but to do a a 10-day festival non-stop with well what must have been what about 100 acts was it 80 or something acts what's uh how 190. Many acts 190 acts across 10 days with with no issues actually yeah i mean there wasn't even a day when everything went wrong we've had a one one 
One, one pull down, one pull down, and and one copyright strike for a video that we played on the day, which was fine, but I uploaded um, yeah, I the single that. set. And I it, saw it, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're obviously, and a strike is on YouTube. A copyright strike is bad news. A copyright claim is different. A copyright yeah, claim yeah. is you know, you've used our music and we'll take your re revenue or whatever. Yeah, copyright that's fine. I can live with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A strike is like you only get three and we'll take your channel down and you've used my music without permission. So the way YouTube oh. works is you can upload uh, without making the video public and they'll scan it and they'll give you a list of things that would cause problems. You know, it's great. So which is exactly what you did. Yep. And then you go. <laughs> yeah. I had to go to copyright school. I had to answer four four questions, and over those four questions, I had to get three right. I had to do it eight times, eight times to get it right. Uh, but anyway, it, it, I did. In the end, I got it right. It was just like, oh, this is infuriating. And I know all the laws, you know. The um, yeah. problem is, like, like you say, Charlie up, uploaded it. There was no problem with his end. We streamed it. Yeah. No problem with our end. And, you know, I put it up. And, but, yeah, no, Marios, Marios, Luca, um, uh, Iron Maniac uh, was, was our only copyright strike. And he used oh, okay. footage from a film, like a good, like, four-minute section of just a film. And it was like, what would you do that for? He was like, I was rushed. I was like, well, why didn't you send it to me? to do something i would have done anything other than that and it would have it's been, your, anyway. the thing is it's your channel that's 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 at, at stake, stake you know, yeah, you know, and, so, and yeah, people yeah. really need to take that stuff seriously because it wouldn't take you know much to take you down uh, the the school is that like kind of to going to driving school when you speed they'll give you yeah, they'll, they'll wipe out the strike if you go yeah, to school yeah. it ends in june <sighs> yeah so i gotta be really like good. super super careful until until june because you only get three so, anyway. yeah. But yeah, uh, touching on Marios Lucas as well, he um, he uh, is very in touch with the Great Ormond Street Hospital at the moment as well. They are helping him out massively at the moment. So uh, so when he said I was pushed for time, I'm like, why didn't you just hand the video to me, my man? You know, and that's what I want to say to everybody as well. Like if 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 you're having problems getting your sets in, or or you, you don't think you're going to make it, or whatever, come talk to me. Come talk yeah. to me. You know, I'm very approachable. I'm not going to say. You know, I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, what can I do to help you facilitate mm. you get this the forward and moving and rocking mm. and onto, you know, uh, like a finished product. So yeah, anyway. 100%. 100%. Well, let's just rewind a bit. You did talk a little bit about the history on the on the very first one. And I don't expect many people to have watched it because we were all finding our feet back then. Yeah. But, um, five years ago, you woke up and sort of reinvented things. What, what, what was what was going on without going into any detail that you don't want to at that stage that caused you to kind of flip and and stick with it in such a such a cool way if you don't ask me asking yeah well uh, uh i just met up with my girlfriend and things were not great uh, i was i was literally i was in, i was in like a massive hole depression was was ridiculous and for sudden suddenly i was like look i'm i'm making music i might just as well start showing it to the world now you know I'm, I'm feeling like i could do with a boost it'd be great if this actually went down well uh, and i filmed two videos and i released them two weeks apart and i released them into doorless jamming and I, I, that was it at the time uh, i think uh, and they went down so well they went down so so well uh and 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 yeah i painted my face just to try and stick out and 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 sticking to it is not a problem uh mark and the client they're two different people you know mm -hmm. <laughs> they really really are uh but yeah so so yeah just started to 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 put my music out there and people were so 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 um um uh, complimentary about it and that's what spurred me on you know if they'd have been like oh that sucks you know or yeah or, yeah i'd have been like oh i don't want to do this anymore and so when i was when i stepped out of my musical closet to come and and and, and show the world what i was doing yeah. everybody was so complimentary i'm like that made me feel amazing that was awesome that was that was that was just the boost i needed it really really was yeah right? so so whenever anybody comes up to me at the url now it's like you you can't you can't say that's caca and i don't like it it's like you you can think that that's fine but you've got to give some some critis constructive criticism in a nice way so that they, they actually want to continue you know otherwise they're not going to continue you know um and that's why i've stuck with it because it just it just kind of literally I, I i put up those two videos and suddenly it was vroomf, six months later we think of doing the url you oliver comes to me six months into the claim and says oh we're going to do a review show. I'm like, are we? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we'll, do, we'll give something back to the people, you know, that are, that are thanking you and stuff. I'm like, well, it sounds like a good idea. Sure, why not? The first episode of the URL is absolutely shocking. It's me and Oliver using my my phone or, or maybe his Mac to stream off of. <laughs> actually. We're just kind of like pointing at each other. You're like, oh, hey, Klein, yeah, yeah, we like these people. Check this out, honestly. 
<laughs> the first one of your show is finding your feet. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. going to grow. It's just going to grow. Uh, I do think I shot myself in the foot by calling it the URL because every time you mention URL, somebody thinks of that the, 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 yeah, the uh, web address. Yeah, uniform resource located. Yeah, or whatever, uh, or uh, so I I'm starting putting really, unsign. Oh, I mean, if you were googling it, you might have a problem, I suppose. But it's yeah. it's got links <laughs> now. <you know>? Yeah, <laughs> literally, I tried that one time and put URL in. Literally, it's thousands <laughs> of links that you're never going to use or like not any use to me. You know. So. Yeah, totally, totally. That's yeah. why everyone calls their companies by an unknown name, spelt wrong mate, these days, because all the domains are gone, and you know you need to be able yeah. to Google them, like Flickr or, <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's. It. So, did Piero exist before? No, that God time. no. Or was that no, his literally. birthday? Yeah, literally, literally. Uh, I'm a massive placebo fan. Like I say, I split up with my girlfriend and I was just listening to, I think it's Meds, over and over and over again, the album. Just like, it, it finishes, I'll put it back on. It finishes, I'll put it back on. I might listen to black market music just for, for like a change and then back to Meds and back to Meds and just literally, literally. And Perry, the, the client, the, 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 if you listen to the words, it's kind of, it's kind of me. Uh, so and right, somebody, and I was like, I'm thinking about calling myself Piero the Clown, and they're like, Hmm, you make acid music, what's the acid in there? I'm like, mm, mm. Oh, it's a bit cheesy, I don't know. And a day later, I'm like, No, no, I do, I definitely want to do that. That's saying, Yeah, I do, yeah, I do remember, I think I said last time, coming across you somehow on Facebook and being a little bit scared actually to start with, and like, What's going on there? You know, <laughs> and you'd obviously appeared in my stream because you were doing music along the kind of lines that I was listening to and searching for. And we obviously had developed a load of bunch of friends in common. So the algorithm was going, oh, you should probably, you know, you might know yeah. each other. Yeah. Um, and then realizing that there's a massive sense of humor to the whole thing as well. But the initial like video is like, oh, who on earth is that? You know, what is going on? Because uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, really weird. But um, so Jonathan R. Cross is saying, same, yeah, absolutely. So you're kind of scary in, at first sight, but I think, again, that's kind of broken down a little bit. Everyone was scared of you from what it seems on the chat. <laughs> you would not believe how many people have got clown phobia, and I'm like, literally, I'm, I'm like the friendliest clown you'll ever meet in your life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not even going to squirt water at you, you know? No, completely. Oh, uh, EML's just reminded me as well. Bathtub video was the first. He says yeah, there was the... 55,000 uh, views to that video. 55,000 views to that video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a genius. I haven't been able to do anything quite like this. Is that the most yet. viewed video from yeah. the clown ever? Well, on, on Facebook, which is probably only equivalent to like 3,000 views on YouTube or whatever, but shh. Wow, that's yeah. pretty incredible, though. Everyone needs yeah. to get in the bath. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's because so, I had the, the 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 toys out above the bath, and the bath was, you know, and people were like, "Is he in the bath?" And then right at the end, I kind of washed my face off. It's like, "Yeah, oh, I'm definitely in the bath." <laughs> <laughs> so, you and Ollie obviously doing yeah. stuff. Um, I think you fell out for a while. You're all back together again now. It's oh, yeah. Cool. oh so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of great. Um, oh, I've got, I've got. Me and Oliver have got loads of things in the in the pipeline. Yeah, it just requires just... a lot of work to. Uh, we've got three projects on the. I've got. Th I want to get three projects up, up and running on the go. The first one is: Will it survive with Oliver? And it's something we came up with very recently after watching YouTube videos. Uh, so we're going to buy a piece of kit, and we're going to do things that would that would happen badly to it. Say it like fell off your rack, or or someone spilt spilt your drink on it or right. or someone fell on it all right and and, and then we're going to see if it will survive so like turn it on can you get noise out of it brilliant it survived kind of thing so that's all right but i think we're going to get so much grief for destroying kit on that one but i think it'll be a funny exercise that's so that's cool it's top gear meets synthesizer jams isn't that exactly really? kind of thing <laughs> people people love that kind of stuff you know and it's unscripted that's what i like about everything that, that i do there's yeah there's no, you know and there's barely any there's a massive filter in place today but like you know, usually there's there's not, and you know, barely anything. Sort of we were going to have um have a swear jar for raising money for Great Ormond Street, but you, you, <laughs> you proved yourself absolutely perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> money is to be put in that jar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's one project. Uh, another project is um, it is like a TV show loosely based on the clown that kind of uh, uh, is reminiscent of people just do nothing and peep show. But that's mm. really script heavy. I thought I could have I, I could have got a ten minutes show out kind of quickly, but as you try and storyboard it out and you realise that you're going to need to put like a little bit more time into it to make it, you know, really 
shine kind of thing and i'm not a script writer so if there's any script writers out there yeah. um uh, that that, that want to get in contact that um that you know want to use me and oliver as a base uh, and just follow us around with a you know a film uh, uh uh crew that would be amazing um because yeah, somebody did suggest a documentary of how the clown became the clown as well. But again, it's just it's so much organisation, you know. Like yeah. uh, with Clown Fest, I say do us a set and 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 leave it alone until a couple of weeks before the day, and mm -hmm. say have you got your set, and they say yes or no, and I'll play whatever I get on the night. You know, that's easy. You know, writing scripts is hard. Um, uh, people just do nothing. Kind of backstory uh, just appeared, I think, on on YouTube in the timeline, and it was quite interesting. That started yeah. off as a a skit YouTube. Yeah kind of thing yeah do you know what it's I mean, based on what it what it, do i know what it's based on yeah there's a there's a documentary kind of thing about a a, a, a pirate radio station and oh, that's what really... oh, yeah there yeah, was yeah, an yeah. Thing. Gotcha. yeah no yeah, i didn't yeah, know yeah. that at all yeah so wow, that's kind of like yeah. that's kind of like what i want to do I, I, it, would be, it would be nice if we could have, if i could have a, 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 you know i'm funny I, I get into funny situations you no know? yeah yeah, yeah exactly. pages, i think that's what you know? makes that work so well in that they are he is a good mc actually yeah you may do comedy yeah, oh, yeah, MC, yeah, yeah. but he's a great mc the, with the other guy um beats beats has got an ivan novella award for writing yeah. some tunes with some do you know what i mean it's like yeah, um yeah. yeah 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 they're doing they, they, yeah it's very very well perceived and happened yeah. by accident they don't it's i'm sure they have to work hard but it's almost like they don't have to try too hard because it, it's a real life style environment S situations very, very similar yeah yeah absolutely yeah. literally absolutely. somebody just come in with a camera and say right this is your this is like your outline for it go say mm. some funny things you know and uh, you, did you see oliver's studio tour a couple of no, of I just saw his insane beat juggling manifesto. Yeah. <laughs> Again, who would not want to follow this man around with a camera, you know, just to pick up the stuff things was, that he yeah. does? Do you know what? With Oliver, I think I, I just had a feeling that he'd practiced really hard. Yeah, he did. And it all went horribly wrong. Horribly so he wrong. Just horribly. Into a comedy sketch. But I think he intended it to be real for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. He, he was uh, like, like he enjoyed well, the, the the show that he put on, but he was yeah. he was on my bed. You know, usually he's on like a table. You know, and this time the decks were all giving it this. You know, and, yeah, it's, uh, it's, so the, bad, isn't it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's like, but no, he owned it. He owned it, and that's that's you know, you know, that's what he does. You know, his studio tour was brilliant. He was just bumbling around and faffing around, and it was just oh, funny as hell sure. the whole way through. I missed it. I don't know why I missed it. I'll um, I'll jump back in. That's the beauty of this whole thing. They're all they're all there. So yeah, yeah. There yeah. Was, documentation. I saw, pretty much all of them to be honest so um yeah this i love studio tours because it's so interesting to see how people are working you know it might just be a little keyboard or it might be this phenomenal you know, that guy that with just every single keyboard you could possibly want oh. under the sun oh. in, in the us and it yeah. was just this is just in this is a it's much more than a museum but yeah it's just yeah. insane the amount of stuff and this guy just pops up in chat every now and then and says yeah nice tune you know <laughs> <laughs> What? He's been, I, I don't know where he's been hiding. Eric put a, a post up in the URL saying, um, Ch uh, Chuck your studios in. And this guy was like, Here's right. like nine pictures for you. And we're like, Where the chuff in hell have you been hiding? You know, <laughs> like, uh, 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 he's like, Do you want to do a studio tour? He's like, Okay. Yeah. Uh, read the studio tour day. That day came about because there was some beef in, in the URL group, whereas people were like, You've got to use hardware. No, you've got to use software. And I'm like, It doesn't matter what you use so that's why that day, day came about i wanted to show people uh how di diverse it is i don't know if you saw the lights um uh studio tour but it was literally a virtual yeah. studio tour of his vsts you know and that's yeah, fine yeah. if that's yeah. what you use to make music that is fine buying pots and pans i don't care yeah exactly you know? exactly exactly no, so that's, that's why that day came about I mean, it's always we all get excited and geek out about about high tech synth equipment and stuff, but actually, yeah. you don't you need know, it. It's, it's it's the SM57 in front of the the monitor speakers yeah. that knows things or whatever you know that really makes things actually tick. So that was great. Like you can do everything you need in one of these. Laptop. Oh. Yeah, you know, say, everything, you know, a Ableton, yeah. Cubase, you know, you don't need expensive equipment. You can get cut down versions of software. If if that's what you've got to make music, own it. Indeed. Indeed. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's have a couple of quiz questions um, just to keep everyone on our toes. I don't know if this is going to work. Lou, <laughs> what's he asking a couple of quiz questions? Do you want to do some quiz questions? Mrs. Wiggly is around. She might pop her head around and say hello in a second. Right, I'm preparing to maybe only get we, two we questions right at best. <laughs> we didn't um, 
we didn't really have a quiz. We had a couple of questions when you were on for the first episode, which then yeah. subsequently evolved into the quiz that we have now. We've also got, I think, the highest viewing figures we've ever had. So you are a total star. Today? Doing something right. Yeah, close. It has been. Yeah, it goes up and down a little bit. But yeah, yeah, there's loads and loads of people watching across all the, it's not just YouTube, it's across everything. Right. Ah. Um, let's see. Pressure. Let's also see if I can do this. Ken Lewis, yeah, Mrs. Wiggly is absolutely fine. Do you want to say hello, Mrs. Wiggly? Yeah, yeah she's um, two is definitely an achievement. Grace, uh, let's see. Hello. Here you go, Mrs. Hi. Wiggly in the place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got your clown face on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Top clown face. Awesome. Top clown face. <gasps> Live chat on and Wagyu is banned. Oh, I see. Wagyu's banned from the quiz. Yeah, absolutely. Wagyu gets everything right. There's no Googling. There's a couple of questions that may be Googleable, but you are absolutely not allowed to Google. So, Google. Call my Google. We, we go, yeah. Wagyu. We're Google. We're Google. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I've had to write them on this. We've got no paper. Are you ready here? Do you want to be on this other camera? Or are you all right? Not the other camera. Sit down. Oh, yeah, other camera. Okay. Stand Stand by. I love life. Stand by. I need to add a minute. The camera. question disappeared. Oh, no. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I think we might have some music. Let's do that. Very quiet. Uh, Welcome back. Well done. So I'm going to see if we can even add two cameras. This one. That one. There we go. Lula Maze camera. See if we can add that. It's brave adding a camera mid show. Well, yeah, multiple camera laptop. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Okay, so you got the first question there. Can you say something? Make sure we can hear you. Hello. Loudly. Hello. Yes, that's yes. the level that we want. All right, stand by in the chat. Yeah, your chat is you need it on all chats, not top chat or featured chat yeah, or something like that. Live chat. That's the one. Otherwise, you'll miss the answers. Eyes down. Stop the music for a full house. Here we go. What is the name of my new best cat friend? Ah, we met some cats over here. There are three of them. Name oh, them. Oh, don't worry. All oh dear, all they the questions have just disappeared. Oh my god. Uh, whiskers. No. Socks. <laughs> no. Tiger. Lily. Um, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Two of them are ending in E, like a lily. Okay. Lucifer, Wendy, Tilly. Spot. Uh, Spot seems to be a common name. Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Inky would have been a good one. No. Tallulah, Mr. Catley. Yeah. Lucifer. Lucifer's a good name for a cat, too. What else we got? Floofy. They're all girls. They're all girls. Fluff. <sighs> Frank. Frank is a great name for a cat. Pinky, Charlie, Emily, Catty, <laughs> Tilly, Philly, and Big Willy, says Mr. Says Wagyu. Uh, analog profit says so wiggly unlikely but nice <laughs> molly claws mr meow kitty i'm amazed yeah, I'm... These are reasonably common names Tilly the other Billy. one ends in an owl silly an filly frilly fluffy <laughs> nope space cat ah. dusty and fluff fudge it ending catty. In an owl? no it doesn't it ends in an o that's true but it's spelled a willow is very close to the O one. Good thinking, Grace. It definitely ends in an O. Miss Mietz. Oh, we may have to give up on this one. Uh, yeah, like, I, what is a cat's name? Like, honestly, <laughs> uh, what is a cat's name? Like, I'm sure this book's out there with like four, you know, four million. Here's four million cat names. You know? and, like, and we're like, quick, quick, look through. <laughs> Google is not helping us here. My, okay, one of them begins with a P and ends in a E, yeah, a e so it's a, it's a, ends Pilly. in a Y. Pilly. Pilly. Yay! You're kidding. All right, so you get a point. There's Me? another one that ends in E, as in a Y. An Tabby, no, begins with an M. 
Panty, says Kent's bomb. <laughs> Pinky, Pete, Patty. Have some water. Mark, uh, yes, you can have some water. Do you want some of mine? Huh? Yeah, you can drink from the bottle if you want. Molly, Millie, is it Millie? Mm -mm. No, not quite. Happens, it's a bit like fog. Maggie. Do you want to show a picture of Penny? Yes, I can show you a picture whilst you're, uh, let's get it first, because otherwise I'll lose the chat. Milo, no, I think we're going to have to okay. call it. <laughs> what were those? Uh, Wait, sorry, got it. Misty, okay, oh. just in the nick of time. Misty, now that it Penny, and the other one was? Um, Shadow. Shadow was the other one. We've got some pictures of them lined up here as well that we took for you. I'm hoping. Did I upload them? Ba, 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 really ba, ba. They are really cute. Here's number one. Here is that is Penny. That is Penny. Let me just get rid of that comment for a second. Penny. Uh, here's number two. Oh, there's two of them there. Oh, that's Penny. Um, and the one in the corner is um, Misty. Misty. And here's three. Shadow. Shadow. Which we think may be mummy to uh, to the other two. All right, so so you get one off the first one. That's a very 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 good start. David Johnson saying hardest quiz ever. But yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> it's like extra it's sensory perception. I mean, Luna May comes up with I would say eighty percent of the questions. Plus, they can't be Googleable, otherwise Ragu just cheats. So, uh, oh, beefsteak Mahoney says I had a cat named Shadow. Good choice. Excellent. I don't recognise your name as well, so thank you very, very much for joining in here. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button um, and perhaps subscribe if you fancy it as well. We're well on the way to 2 million subscribers now. We're about 2,000, but it's uh, it's close. It's getting close. <laughs> That's um, how I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 2,000 are apparently the hardest. All right. Are you ready for the next one, my darling? Ready? Okay. All right. Next question coming up now. How many people die on average of coconuts falling on their head? No Googling. How many people die on average per year with coconuts falling on their head? Do you know, I've, I, I know this fact. Somebody has told me this fact at some point, and it's not, I, 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 like, how am I supposed to remember that number? I remember somebody told me the fact. Let's say nine. No, no, higher, higher, actually. 36. Pardon? 36. No, higher. Oh, my God, 105. Higher. Jesus, 1,000. No, lower. Oh, man, 100,000. There's a lot of numbers between those two. I'll let the chat take care of this for a minute or two. Uh, it's in the hundreds. It's, okay, you're keeping an eye there. Oh, Sensian. So, I'll give it to Sensian. No, there's been someone that said that before. Uh, did they? Okay. So Sensian's very close with 145. 146, 146, 148, 149, 150, 151. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Boom, two. I can relax, mate. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. 150, you get 70, had 150. But yeah, apparently, on average, 150 people per year die because they sat underneath a coconut tree. And a coconut <laughs> fell on That's unlucky. Heads. It is, it is, of all, of all the ways to go. Yeah. <laughs> that means one every two days. That's just a bit of plastic. Can I take it off? Yeah, if you want Why? to. I don't think it's making a noise at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's one every other day as well. So, you know. <laughs> I'd like that to, statistic. <laughs> since, since the last show, three people have... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. That's a I know, joke. that's that's really mean, right? <laughs> it's because you've got a clown on. I do apologise to anyone in the chat whose family has been affected by falling coconuts. Right, let's go again. You're on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is my new favourite drink? Ah, new favourite drink? Oh, Rio. You don't. Nope. Uh, let's come back to this one. I want to say some really obscure things here, but it's a family it's, show and I'll not. It's not incredibly um, obscure, but it is. Well, Tango, it's, Fanta. No, uh, it's, um, it's a sort of natural. Dandelion and Burdock. Mm, close. Not too close. Elderflower. Whiskey, says Azio here. Thank you for that. 
Uh, sparkling nuts. water, Mountain Dew, almond milk. That's a nice one, actually. Rose water, no. It's um homemade lemonade. No. No, it's a fruit. It it, it's a type of fruit. But it, it has fruit in its name. And it has fruit in its name, yeah. I can't hear anything with earplug. I oh, know you won't hear on those earplugs. I know. Because it didn't work. Tizer. What's chamoy? Chamois. That's like a leather. Isn't it? Chamois. Chamois. I thought that's what you wipe the water off a car with. Coconut fruit. Passion fruit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Good play, Sasquatch. Well done, sir. Well done. That's a point for Sasquatch, Mrs. Wiggy. <laughs> you're taking notes. Oh, Wagyu said you said that earlier. I'm so sorry. Of course. With Mrs. Wiggy chilling out. But to be fair, of course, of course Wagyu said that earlier. Um, I'm sure you did. Okay. Elderberry wine. I can see that one. Uh, what point did you give? Um, I'm sure you did. So apologies for that. It's a slightly lightweight quiz. Because obviously we're in slightly different, uh, slightly different world. No, just get rid of that. Right. So we need another one from you, Mr. Clown. You've got to. You're going to have to get your, get your eyes down and sort this one out. Are you ready, Louie? <laughs> what band am I going to see next month? <gasps> what band are you going to see next month? Not I'm placebo. going to see placebo next month. No, nah, it's not placebo. It's uh, uh, a proper pop band. Around not at the regular. moment. Yes. Because I'm never going to get there. I like the last time I looked at the charts, I was like 14. Pretty likely you will have heard of them. To be fair, they've been around for a while, but they were still cast them as young. It's, uh, nope. S Club. No, 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 no. More modern than that. Something oh, from God, the early no, 2000s. Ooh, Spice 10s. Girls. No, God, that would be amazing. Modern in the true sense of modern, not Duran Duran, not the zombies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not I can not see Luna May being into the zombies. They're not an 80s band. They are a 2010s. Kev Human. Oh. Well played, sir. <laughs> well played indeed. Top well ten. played indeed. Let me just shake my bald head now. Look, it's like shiny. <laughs> Shiny head. Just slap it. <laughs> <laughs> How many more have we got? We must have a couple more. Let's have a look. I've got to look at your list. Um, 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 yeah, we can do. Don't do the the, the Minecraft one because we didn't really have an what answer for one? that. What mine? Oh, no, no, I ignore that one. All right, got two or three more. Yeah. Are you ready for the next one? We're there. Okay. Okay. Eyes down. This isn't bad for a laptop. To be That's me, not you. <laughs> okay, ask the question. Okay. <laughs> what T-shirt am I wearing? What's on my T-shirt? What is on your T-shirt? Unicorn fairies. Nope, but it is an animal. Uh, uh, hippopotamus, giraffe. Penguin. It's all so uh, close. Big Hippopotamus one? was close. Hippopotamus was close. Capybaro. Big. Big elephant. Yeah! Three! Boom! Inky was oh, in there in the chat as well. Yeah, I think somebody in the chat might have said that as well. She's whizzed off the top already. Uh, is that an you? elephant squirting a rainbow? Let's have a look. It is, it is an elephant squirting a rainbow. There you are. It is indeed. It's not the greatest camera in the world. <laughs> this is live TV. It's not scripted. No, why would I make the camera? <laughs> I don't know. It's a sort of... Trust me, that's an elephant. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well played. Well played, Inky. Will Joseph was in there, but after the uh, after the, um, the end of the, the question, um, I haven't got any quiz music, actually, but there you go. All right. Are we back on my head again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stand by. How many points did I get on my grade one piano exam? How many watts on the points. grade one? How many Point. points did Lila May get on her grade one piano exam? It is out, I think, of a hundred and... 
120, I think. 118. No. 117, 116, 115, 114, 113, 112, 111, 110, 109, 108, 107, 106, 103. Where yeah! did we get to? <laughs> <laughs> Will Joseph so close with 104? But no. Yeah, but these guys are. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm cheating. <laughs> 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 Any which way that gets you across the finish line, yeah, right? To be honest, well, then, was that three that you? got now is it three yeah. or two? you got three this is this is strong performance all right so um we got one more do we have big questions we've got no i do have a big question for you for no no okay oh, you, didn't, you didn't ask me no before. i forgot well if you come up with one before the end of the stream you can do Does a big question one? do you have a question a big question i mean no no no, no? she doesn't <laughs> But why are we here? We can think of one. We can think of one. We can definitely, definitely think of one. This is a bit, it's been a bit last minute. Okay, we've got two more questions. One jokey one and one very, very serious one. Are you ready with the serious one? I am. Okay. Here. Oh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Apart from me, who is Mummy's favourite singer? Celine Dion. No. To be fair, not a million miles away, though, in terms of singing people. What thing is? Oh, that's a glass. Grace Jones. No, not Boy George. <laughs> Prince. Should be Prince, actually. I love Prince. Little Wayne. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Little Pete, no. Amy Winehouse, Nina, Nina Cherry, Nina Cherry. Uh, hello, Fleabag, by the way. Thank you for joining us. Lovely to see you. Um, meet Lowe, Tori Amos, Susan Boyle, Kent Spong, close, close. For, with Susan Boyle? No, Kent Spong, no, no. It's it's a man. Oh. I would say oh. quite a mainstream man. Buster Rhymes. No, not that mainstream, to be fair. What's the dude from Take That? Uh, it's not him. Gary Barlow. Um, Gary Barlow, no. Jason Orange. Very prob similar. George Michael. Oh, Ken Lewis. Ken Lewis. <laughs> Whoops. Where's he gone? He's, he's whizzed off. There you go. Michael Bublé and his Christmas album. Every Christmas. <laughs> All I want to do is play my song, and we have Michael Bublé non-stop, don't we? Never mind. Right, one more. Back in the... did Not much love for Michael Bublé. Got to say, Mrs. Wiggly. Huh? Not much love for Michael Bublé. Well, I think you know Oh, Marius Luca kind of likes it. Oh, God, no. Who that, says Andrew Brooks. Michael Bublé, he does Christmas songs. He's, he's, he's quite a good singer. He's got... He's in the kind of Sinatra old school style. And How if you, can hear you not him, know him, he's got like a built in auto tune. It's, yeah. it's quite bizarre the way he sings, actually. Just say no, says Inky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have, we have one, more two more. Oh, well, one of them's a backup joke in case the first one fails. So let's get back in the real world. <laughs> Why do cows wear bells? Why do cows wear bells? Uh, so the farmer knows where they are? No. Far too sensible. Far too <laughs> sensible. Because drum kits are too big. Oh, good one. You're on the right lines. Because no Googling. I'm talking at you, Wagoo. Because a telephone box would look silly. Good, good, good call. Because we need more cowbell. Oh, Kent Spong. Because their horns don't work. Uh, mm. Yes. I'm glad you added that one. Thank you. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> 
Go on, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I'm all but done, Tish. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Good work. We even got a lull out of 10 mil. Good work. Good work. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for that, sweetheart. Big round of applause for Lula May. <laughs> and then we've got a hallelujah. And a golf clap. Oh, you can watch your film again now. If you like. Don't take that. I think mean, you can stay if you like. Ah. It's, but it's definitely up to you because um, Mark's promised not to say any rude words. <laughs> And so far, so good, actually. What are you going to do? Or shall I just talk to Mark? Yeah. yeah I'll talk to Mark. All right. All right. Okie dokie. So back in, I think we. I, I, I peaked too early with the back in the real world. And back in the real world. Actually, we don't need that other camera anymore. Um, thank you to everybody. Whoops, not you. Ah, nearly kicked you off. Let me just use, <laughs> use this other camera. Uh, thank you to everyone in the chat for that. Um, huge applause wow. and big love. And thank you to everyone who has donated so far. No, I just want. Oh, okay, that's cool. So we're off what to feed. Can cat? you remember the name of the cats? Shadow. Yes. Pearl. I can't remember the one I said. Pagey. No, something. Mm. <laughs> Penny. 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 Penny, I was close. That's more than I would have got. Do you want to say goodbye to Lula May and Mrs. Wiggly? Off to feed the cats. Bye, everyone. Bye, <laughs> These cats are mad because obviously they're kind of semi wild. There's some cats here that are looked after at the hotel. And um, they're, they're not nice. used to being fed, though. They're used to kind of begging for their food. So, so Lula May's like bought some cat treats. So they just go <laughs> absolutely crazy and chase her around. I do the same thing. I Literally, that. I was in Poland and there was a, a group of cats underneath the, the stairwell and they had all kinds of terrible eyes. There was nothing oh. I could do. So I just fed them some food. Mm. You know, there's not, you know, mm. not much you can do at that point. But, same yeah. Italy, actually, with it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's terrible, isn't it? Dynamix, thank you so, 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 so much. <laughs> With your ten pound super sticker, thank you so so much, sir. Um, what I was going to say was I wanted to run a thank you um, video just to say thank you to everybody. It doesn't include last week's donators, um, so apologies for that because I didn't get a chance to put it together. But just to say thank you to everyone who has donated. I believe Dynamics you're already in there. Uh, lots and lots of people have donated more than once, so I really really thank you for that. Um, and then um, we can do a few questions. Uh, from the chat, if you wouldn't mind, if you've got anything burning questions, ask me for... anything. I dare you. Mark? Ask me anything, anything, I, anything, anything. I dare you. I will answer truthfully. Exactly. Well, there you go. Now is the chance. Now is the chance. <laughs> you, uh, what's that? Oh, and the uh, that's rather uh, intriguing. A balloon <laughs> dog it used to be. Its head came off. <laughs> Well, there, there is a clown on the show, so, uh, you know, balloon well, animals are the yeah. thing. I knew you should have had, like, an like a, or whatever the, the, the clown thing is. You know, the air horn type clown thing. Anyway, um, just for a moment, um, if you need if you need a wee, now's the time to have it. You've got a minute and a half, I believe, Brilliant. Whilst, this, uh, whilst this little video thanking everyone for the wonderful donations that you've given fires off. So thank you very, very much indeed for that. Um, and we will be back in a second. Paste your answers into chat. Uh, if I miss them, paste them in again. Inky will keep them out for them as well. If you can at me, that would be quite useful as well. But uh, many, many thanks to all of you who've given for Great Ormond Street. It's so much loved and respected. Thank hey, you. Step inside, I give thanks and the highest praise. Grab my shirt to my mouth, connect out the space. Within the hallways of the heart, the mind in the state of being that I am as I vibrate. Head awake, oscillate like horse crystal, my mate. Her brother, I know, runs on in his turn. I'm a thing, our heart is the father, the son, so we'll let it shine away. Your will lap and envelop each other and love and I guess. Someone say to you, you can synchronize this energy, symbiotic and sacred geometry. I'm to play the symmetry and the symmetry as we Secrets and now that this wisdom see what the symbols mean and bodies for the temple piece With a life force, energy resides in the chemistry Bioelectric being the top, I'm indefinitely Received and perceived to the physical machinery Conceived by the source, recognize that it bless the dream Rolling and I can't breathe Gunshot sleeping if I hurt me One love, energy and sex deep Wind your line to the champion sound Fierce man move to the energy Sunlight bread in a pan we One love set your heart free Wind your line to the champion sound Wind in time to the champion sound
Thank you so, so much to everyone for donating. And uh, Oh, my God. Lula <laughs> just smashed this bottle down and squirted water everywhere. But you're okay. And this will be useful stuff. I'll dry it off whilst you're gone. Uh, if you have daughters, you'll know that it takes them a little while to leave the building when uh, when everyone is ready to go. Anyway, don't worry about it. Thank you so, so much. Um, right, let's take a look in the chat to see what's... Oh, in the meantime, wonderful 10 mil. Thank you so, so much for that. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we've raised fortunes already, which is just absolutely spectacular. I'll do all the, the totting up afterwards because we were probably up to about three and a half thousand pounds here, which over the course of about 40 shows is, is insanely brilliant. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, yeah, any uh, questions in the chat for uh, Mark? Um, let's take a few as well. I've got my own, but literally, let's let's kind of put him under a bit of pressure. Remember, Luna Mayor and Mrs. Wiggly have left the building now in terms of finding some uh, some cats so that he can be as candid as he likes. Uh, first one's from Synth Addict. Mr. Wiggly, question, Mark's favourite and least favourite synths. And oh, really favourite and least favourite. Yeah, nice. Oh, well, favourite is like a no-brainer. The, the powerhouse that is the hydro synth over here. Ooh. Yeah, well, honestly, so sonic capability is just absolutely massive. Do, do I know my way around it? No. No, it's like it's the biggest synth. I like literally MS two thousand base station and the the micro freak over there. Fairly easy to to navigate around. This beast is just. I mean, it's something else. And I feel like I'm at the the the, the, the bottom of a very big mountain. And you know, and looking up at the top, it's like oh. It's not going to get there today, is it? <laughs> you know? Least favorite synth. Least favorite synth. Least. I've gone through enough of them. There must be one or two that I really, really hated. I, I, I wasn't very impressed with the Access Virus B. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I just everyone was like, it's amazing. And it's like, it's all right. I'm still going through growing pains with my hydrosynth, actually. I'm lucky enough to own one as well. And, um, I just haven't sat down and got to grips with it. I definitely don't understand it in the same way that you're describing. And it didn't blow my trousers off when I hit the keys. And I'm not oh, even really? sure if anything would these days, to be honest, in the same way yeah. that a plug-in like Omnisphere did, yep. you know, when you suddenly go, <laughs> where did that come from? Um, you know, or anything like that. So I'm still finding my finding my feet with it. But the aftertouch, I've got the one with um, polyphonic aftertouch, which to be honest, makes up for everything because you can plug that into the door and, and play any, you know, loads of VSTs are, are following with Aftertouch now. So, so yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, a lovely, lovely bit of kit. So many people are getting them as well. I mean, it's just, just insane. The amount of Thank you to Fuzzy. That is uh, Jim Prendergrass, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Jim Prendergast, the amazing Jim Prendergast, who put on day one of Clownfest, that we just talked about earlier, are now beginning to put names to, to real people. So thank you. Um, you'll have to come on the um, on the stream, actually. I think you'd make an excellent. That's a really yes. good idea, Dom. That's a really good idea. I like that one so, a lot. Uh, if you're free, um, come on next week if you fancy it. Or anyway, we never plan anything in advance. So uh, I'd love to I'd love to uh, to have you on and chat about stuff. It'd be really interesting to find out where you got. Because I think you've got uh, like a jazzy keyboard background, haven't you? Massively. As if he could speak for himself with you on stream. Um, okay, so Access Virus. What, how are you finding the, um, the, the core? Is it an M MS2000 behind you? MK2000? Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, sounds sounds a bit thin. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's a, it's a great synth. It's, it's very very capable. It's actually it was actually the first synth I ever bought, and I sold it about five years ago. And somebody offered me that one for eighty pounds, and I said, "Oh yeah." No brainer. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, they, the fact that you can when it came out, obviously it's got this sixty note sequencer, and you can play the filter and store it. It's almost like. Um, on motion sequence yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Those, those things. So, yeah. so it makes up for it but fundamentally yeah. inside it is i agree with you it's a little bit uh a little bit slim weak. sounding i guess sent an awesome job this past week mark and sent in saying that doesn't improve with age i guess that's the time it takes daughters to leave the building when they've decided <laughs> <to play something. laughs> um the two uh jk saying are the two rigs you're currently jamming on separate systems for the most part or perhaps integrated Yes, absolutely. Uh, the, this one behind me is my Techno rig, um, and and yeah, Techno all the way. Three hundred three is four three hundred three is in 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 there. I think that's the beast in all her glory. Two mixers, two AMXs, three synths, 
four acid boxes. Yeah, four acid boxes. A couple of chaos pads, a Sherman filter bank. <clears throat> and that is primarily for techno. And then the, the one that the Hydra sits in that's run by the Mac and that's got quite a lot of error kit in it is, is for experimental drum and bassy kind of stuff, really. Uh, really, the, the, the Hydra synth, uh, Dom, the, it's, it's the biggest synth I've got in, in my collection. You know, like this one's pretty weak. That one's good for, for basses. This one's kind of, you know, a freak, uh, you know, uh, whereas this one is just it's just a powerhouse. You know, yeah. you push a key and it yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm like, none of my other synths do that. <laughs> well, it was interesting because I called up a few presets and I I probably spent an hour on it and literally run through and I thought, oh, that's a good bass down there, but it sounds a bit bass light. And and so I very without really knowing quite what I was doing, I managed to find the filter and the resonance. And suddenly the speakers started flapping, you know, and I suddenly thought, OK, no, it's there. It's definitely yeah. all inside there. Maybe I'm oh, just yeah. picking the wrong sounds or, yeah. you know, yeah. so I know it's got it inside it. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're lovely 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 synth so it's really it's, it's just i haven't bought a new synth for ages it's all been software i've got some lovely old synths that i've owned from new sort of from way back you know i bought mks 80s new and stuff like that and still have them and they still work and they are great so kind of quite sought after but it's nice to buy something that has the power of towards the omnisphere level of stuff that you're getting, you know, with those kind of things, which is great. Um, yeah. Talking about the things straight behind you, Jen just asked, what's the ideal number of 303? It's a wonderful Jen S, who's also been a guest here. Your right-hand lady when it comes to doing the URL and cloud Yes, indeed. And yeah, Is I love Jen S. She's a wonderful human being. We are going to hook up for uh, Bearded Theory when I, we play on the same bill. The Klein Jewels play on the same bill as uh, Placebo, and we will be covering a Placebo track that day. Hopefully, Jen will join us on stage to do the piano bit. Yeah, when's that going to be? Oh, uh, June, July. I, I, it's written it? down in the diary. <laughs> oh, wow. That'd yeah, be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe we can all have a bit of an outing. Where yeah. is it? Uh, oh god, Leah! Again, um, I get in the car and people take me there. I don't know. Well, I don't do you know what part of the country? Like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, do you know what's going on? Uh, yeah, Jen, tell me, tell me, please. Because that sounds anyway. like it could be a, a clown army outing. Anyway, yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. Uh, the ideal number of three or threes is four, surely. Okay. Like, like in a rig, four, because you want. You, maybe you want two playing the same line so that one plays the bass notes, you leave the bass down, and the other plays the high notes, and then you've got two two lines to play something else. You can do that with pedals and stuff. So maybe three, you know, have split okay, one to so a distortion. Is that the trick? Because I've I've heard you mention this stuff before, but to get parallel precision, yeah, three, three sound. You're you're using you're using two to play the same line. Yeah. Well, the. The, the the Zox box goes into a distortion pedal and also powers the MAM. Uh, my my Zox box, the cutoff is is broken at the moment, so I can't get it to scream. Uh, yeah. But so I'll use the scream on the uh, on the on the MAM and have a clean line and a distorted line from there. So she technically runs four lines. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Because I remember um, there was a trick about taking the headphone out through distortion if you, yeah, well, if yeah. you wanted to kind and of. And then you can the split input. them. Yeah, and then you can have two pedals on it as well, coming out of a headphone line because it's left and right. Oh, nice. you, you know, yeah. I'm a big fan oh. of that. It just beeps up, beeps it up, makes it sound so much better. What's the uh, distortion box you're going through? The, the distortion box is actually a custom-built one from Matthias Soccer. It's, it's oh. I'll, I'll unplug it and show it to you. It's got my name on the back. Wow. It's a bit dusty. But, uh, yeah, it's from Matthias Soccer. Uh, oh, it's nice. called... Hang on, let me just hide that comment. There you go. There you oh, go. it's got a balls knob. That's fantastic. Yeah. Balls and sweat, and there you go. Three or three screamer. I'll read that out because oh, you can't nice. read it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dear Mark, pair of the acid clan gardener. Thank you so much for the things you're doing for the clan army. Uh, may this device disto make your three three scream like never before. Uh, your choice honors me. Thank you again, Matthias uh, Soccer from DNS Audio. So yeah. Wow. And he was like, uh, I'm going to send it to you. I'm like, no, I'll buy it off you. He's like, no, I'm going to send it to you. I'm like, no, I'll buy it off you. And he just sent it to me. I'm like, man, you know, I like paying my way, you know. Yeah, no, that is that is amazing. That is truly amazing. What a nice thing to have as well. Yeah. Custom, yeah. The custom, actually, a custom line of, of... Only five in the world. Neat idea, actually. That might yeah, be a way of in the world. Do a, do a release of... Uh, 
of 303 oriented distortion boxes with with clown oriented stuff going on wow yeah and it, it literally it does scream it really does scream there might be like three mm. you know only three knobs on it but you know it really yeah, does yeah. scream one well, there's a bull's knob what else what else would you want exactly uh, only Brian, right. a new name to me as well thank you so much for joining and being in the chat um please smash that like button because it's good for the algorithm and if you do fancy subscribing to the mr wiggly thing you'll get a note in the in your own time zone as to when we do go live so that'd be greatly appreciated any specific qualities you look for in a synth actually that's an interesting question mangle ability i want to go from 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 the noise i have to something you know very different in in a, in a, in a very quick time uh, I'm, I'm very fond of uh one button per function um uh because then it's all hands-on and it's there when you need it kind of thing uh so yeah that's that's what i look for like the, the ability to take something something simple that you programmed in and take it into something that it doesn't sound like that because that's mm. what it should do you know mm. Mm. and patch yeah, door yeah. you have to have patch door on a goddamn synth like Andrew on stage, you're like, oh wait a minute, let me just go over to the K2, and I'll, I'll just. Well, at I'll least just... you'll never get into modular on that basis. I, 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 literally, no, no. And like, like the Erica synth thing, it's techno system 3K. You turn it on and it goes poof, 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 and literally you push a couple of buttons and it does it all itself. You know, <laughs> it's like uh... that looks the business though. I've not, yeah, I've not heard one that yeah, it really does does I, the business. I, I push... um, yeah, sorry, Wagon is saying um, lies. But this is, I'm well behind in the chat, so please do uh, post some questions. And we will we'll get to them. I did actually buy a Timberwolf. I am convinced that there is a mod or something is going to happen to the Timberwolf that is, it's going to generate its own genre of music in the way that the 303 has. So, and the price is already rising. Plus, the fact every time I can, I talk about them and the price goes up. So we're uh, we're shorting the uh, we're shorting the Timberwolves at the moment. So, Doc. Um, if you have the Timberwolf, is it Timberwolf, yes? Yeah. You crazy mukbofo. <laughs> what do you think of it? You must have... It's kind of what people say. I I think that there's a... It, it's, it's got this four-voice stuff going. I mean, it's got a lot of oscillators in there. It makes a great mono synth if you twist them all together. And I think there's an internal mod that can be done. That will turn it into an awesome kind of monophonic synth. That's that's where I'm thinking. As it stands, the way it's configured with its sort of paraphonic kind of thing, not a great deal. But it's built like a tank. Internally, it's got the bits you need to create a decent synth with. So that's where I'm at. But I haven't taken the back off yet. I'm, I'm kind of. You, there's a um, the, what's its brother, the Rhythm Wolf. Yep. Tom Cat there Rhythm Wolf. A, there's a couple of them a crazy in the nicest possible way guy who reverse engineered the rhythm wolf and came up with had a similar, similar kind of idea really and said yeah i reckon i can turn this into something amazing and literally there is a huge website dedicated to this thing where he's literally he's worked out the circuit diagrams he's changed transistors and insane amount of work this guy's done and i think the timber wolf is the base bit of the rhythm wolf because i think the rhythm yes. wolf has got yep. some drums yep. and a bass yep. so i'm kind of hoping i can have a look at that and and go okay so if we change this component here and you know a bit of magic string and i think going. you're mental <laughs> like i honestly it's the donkeyest box you ever see imagine my my delight when they released it right and it's like 150 quid or something ridiculous on its release and i'm like oh an analog box from akai that has pads and stuff this is gonna be lovely what is this the price is falling as we speak <laughs> yeah no, literally good that, that, honestly like it's never going to be the, the 303 of, of, of our day literally it's, uh, it's not well then at least hopefully i can sell it on i mean it's yeah we, I, oh, just no, I hope yet to well, I hope you open it up, and I hope you do get yeah, inside exactly. there. And like, I'd like to see the the journey of this. And then when you get to the final product, and you're like, ah, I'm ah, hoping ah, there's, ah, a, there's a little work. link on the PCB that if you just scratch through the link, it suddenly turns into like a one voice CS80. I think that's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tom. Yes, totally possible. Totally possible. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. No, you're right. You're right. It's probably one of those things. But I don't know. They got so cheap that it's like, yeah, they can't be that bad. They can't be that. The tenor. Bad. They can. They are. <laughs> You've just yeah. said they are. You're just hoping, like hope of hope, that <sighs> somewhere, like it's not going to happen. Like literally. Oh dear, dear, dear. Um, Prometheus. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, how does the hydrothin? sit in the mix actually that's a really good question 
when you're playing live through a mixer with no particular compression and stuff going on, does it float around on the top or are you getting a... it? It dominates. It, but then I'm using it for bass sounds anyway at the moment. Okay. Um, I've got the System 1M as well, which to me sounds like a glass synth. It's got such clarity to it that I don't need that out of the hydro synth so I can stay within yeah. the bassier tones. So, so yeah, so it doesn't sit in the mix. It dominates it. Yeah. For I me. There is a, that, that's one of the things about synths, isn't it, which can sound incredible and kind of sometimes to sell themselves really need to sound incredible. You know, you put yep. the thing in, it just goes back. Ah. You're actually sticking it in something. It never it never blends in anywhere, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. I've I mean, heard that of the sub fatty, actually. Oh, right. Yeah, so I went to, I was in talking to PMT, one of the guys in PMT, and he had one. Yeah. And he was like, no, I sold it on because um, uh, it was yeah, really hard to sit in the mix kind of thing. Okay, here's a good one. Ken Lewis, since Lula May is not there, what is your favorite curse word? <laughs> yeah, cunt. <laughs> yeah, literally, literally. And Facebook have banned me from using it, and Lady Garden doesn't have the same goddamn impact. Well, <clears throat> well maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason for that. I I I likened it the other day. Someone was like, "Ah, freedom of speech, freedom of speech." And it's like, well, you wouldn't walk around a wedding with your cock out, would you? <laughs> I'll tell don't you say cunt. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> don't say cunt on Facebook. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. it's like I get it. It's a public forum. They you know, are, we... Yeah. Also, they have to be super careful at that level as yeah. well because it's yeah. you know it's a huge multinational corporation and you can't yeah. get away yeah. with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's like Amazon owning Twitch. Actually, you know, they are. They don't need to own Twitch, they, you know. In some ways, it's going to be quite an annoying offshoot. It's nice to have, obviously, but you know, to, to, they, they'll immediately shut you down if anything goes wrong because they just yep. can't afford the, the hassle. It's not cool business. Yep. Dynamic says, "I knew it. I got my ten pound in the swear jar earlier." Hey, earlier. somebody pro provoked me. <laughs> I, I was, pro you know, what was I supposed to spell it out? <clears throat> All right. Any more questions in the chat? Gratefully received. I think there was a couple from earlier. Uh, Mr. Wiggly, love the Electra BMX. Did he build or buy the Zox box from Synthetic? I I bought I bought this one and it was my first acid machine. When when I started making music, I'm like, I love acid music, and it's like, yeah, well, don't just write acid music, you know. And so for mm -hmm. years, I put off getting a, uh, an acid box. Uh, and as soon as I got one, I'm like, oh god damn, don't know why I didn't do this fucking two years ago, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then yeah, it, it, forced, it forced me to, to look at other noises, you know, noises that aren't just going to be driving it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't, I think the Zoxbox was the first thing I kind of built musically. It was oh, really? a bit of labor of love. But, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I, I, yeah, it was one of the cheapest ways back then to get a 303, do you know what I mean? Which is yeah, yeah. closest, so, well, if yeah. not identical, but they, they definitely sound different. Um, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. You know, it's a nice, it's a nice machine, and that feeling when you switch it on and it actually works, it's like, wow, this is amazing, it's and it really works. Uh, slightly strange question from Steve Powell: uh, If you had to learn to play a brass instrument, which one would you choose, and why? Sax, sax is sexy. Oh yes. Ba -da 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 -da. You know, everyone's I think you learn something like clarinet first to lead up to. To yeah. sax or something, but um, Luna May is going to start the drums next term, which I think is going to be an ace thing. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Yeah, Stay, yeah, yeah. Like, she wants to. I used to use uh, DJing as a as a form of release. If I had a bad day, I'll go and have a mix for uh, a couple of minutes. You know, I'm mixing at 160 BPM, so it's all you know, it's yeah, like yeah, a workout yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Drums yeah. are the same thing. You know, you you like you know. You got yeah, some yeah, aggression, yeah. go and hit some stuff for a bit, you know. No, I'd never thought of it like that as well, which is mm -hmm. really, really good. And then when I was chatting, uh, when Grace Griffin was on, I was thinking, oh, you can just get sort of electronic, you know, so we can turn the volume down. But I didn't think the feel on those electronic pads is completely different. So if she's doing lessons with a real kit, we may be doing a step backwards. So my idea of having a volume control may not have... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a wonderful 10 mil who was a that was a high point for me actually you haven't seen what's been going on with 10 mil over the last uh kind of few months in terms of well the last year in terms of progression in terms of musical progression what do you think about having a latin day at clown fest this is this is fallout from the chat group 
Ah, there. okay. Yeah. He's in jail, right? Yeah, no, Tem Tem was like, oh, yeah, we could, we had somebody wants to come into the club and do some Latin music. And I'm like, Latin? I do four to the floor. And I do four to the floor with a hi hat. You are, where, where are my Latin? Where's my Latin influence in, in any of this, you know? And he's like, yeah, we'll have a day at Clownfest. I'm like, a day of Latin? I mean, I'm all on for it. I'm open, I'm open to the idea, but like me produce it myself. I'm like, that's so, so, so far out of my comfort zone. I don't even know where, where I'd begin to start on that one, you know? And <laughs> there were, there all really complex beats and you know and it's all sambas and rhythms and stuff and it's like four to the floor mate with with, with a hi-hat and, and 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 an acid line and that's where i'm at you know fair enough yeah 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 and rich actually richard hilton that's interesting technically a woodwind is a saxophone a woodwind instrument oh crikey do i have to change my choice yeah, trumpet yeah, see. trumpet would be cool actually because you've got, you got the, the, the muty one on the end yeah yeah i mean it's made of Wow. Well, no, I, I, Richard Hilton is is God. So, I mean, there's it's absolutely no way that would be incorrect. So It's probably the reed that you have to breathe through to get, yeah, yeah. whereas the others are just purse up against the, the metal bit yes. on it. So, yeah, trumpet. We'll go with trumpet. Sense don't fancy yeah, the saxophone. Saxophone. What's this Yeah, one? yeah. Uh, trombone. Trombone, yeah. Don't fancy that. No. Uh, Sense is saying, yeah, my kids didn't take the road and drums. This is a little disappointing. Got to be said. Got to be said. Lena May's acoustic drum kit set up next to the Wiggly Master bedroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was relying on the volume control. Um, okay, <laughs> last, last few questions. This has been ace. It's gone so fast. It's just amazing. Um, and the Wi-Fi's held up, which is just <laughs> insanely brilliant. Um, uh, Robert Fat Dust, the amazing Fat Dust, my very good friend. Do you use Sherman 2 Live? It's like disarming an atom bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree. I totally agree with you there. Okay, so how is it? How is it hooked up at the moment? I got one of the the kicks are set up on left and right over here. One goes cleanly into the mixer. The other one comes through the Sherman and then goes into the mixer. Honestly, it's it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Don't expect a, the same thing to come out of it like two days in a row. It's it's absolutely bonkers. It adds it adds to the kick drum, but because like if you're not sending a signal through it, it still goes. <laughs> <laughs> depending on where you've got it you know so like i'm gonna have to get a noise gate on it or something just to tame it down a little bit uh i, I did a stream triggered them by midi or something. i saw stars yeah. car who now has a very successful youtube channel way way back uh one of his very early videos i just i just liked the name and he and he had this sherman filter bank and it was exactly like that it was like it's almost like you can't make a video about it because it never does the same thing twice no, no. And, you know, for me, I'm only using it on the kicks, so it's just to, to colorize the kicks a little bit. And it yeah. depends on the night what color you're going to get. And that's what I like about my sets. I'm not going to sound like they did last week because although they're True. the same sa samples and stuff that I might lean on on the MS or, uh, yeah. or the, the TD, uh, TB, uh, you know, heavily in that track and, and not use the other elements that I used last week kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's fair enough. I mean, they are they are totally bonkers. Totally bonkers. Right. Oh, yeah. Anything else? Last orders in the chat. Um, is it worth a quick run? We've we've got your uh, uh, sorry, a quick rundown of the kit behind you, just so that everyone that's watching it can see it. I know you've done a rig rundown recently on the Clown Fest, but yeah, sorry, every time you mention it, I'm thinking, oh, how, how does that actually work? I think it's. And then any other questions? And um, we might call it a night, actually. But yeah, if you wouldn't mind, yeah, because no. you've got those Roland mixers and yes. quite a lot of chaos pads. Yeah, well, not as many as, as I used to. I used to have 11 in the rig, but the, like, uh, what, one, one of my New Year's resolutions, I think it was last year, was if it doesn't fit on a, on a Jasper stand, I am not taking it out. I, uh, oh, I've, you know, I've done Jasper stand and an extra piece, and it's just, it's just too much kit. You know, stop making my, my life hard on myself. So this is the last incarnation of the Beast That Never Sleeps. This is incarnation 22. Uh, she started with an EMX 19 odd years ago. Uh, and still got it. So yeah, the two AMXs. This one's master uh, and a drum machine. That's where my drums come from. I also want to use the MPX8 uh, to hold breakbeat samples. Uh, uh, two two uh, Roland MX1 mixers. Uh, I like the, the 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 effects that they've got on them. Um, uh, very hands on, and I'm all about hands on. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why I like those so much. Um, a lot of people bash them because there's not paramatic EQ on them and stuff like that. But what they lack as being a mixer, they make up for in being more of an instrument. Uh, <clears throat> my synths 
I have the MS two thousand, the base station two, which is which is an amazing synth. Uh, I swapped this for a system one, and I have never regretted it one uh, one iota. Honestly, this this synth is is absolutely amazing. The bass that comes out of this is brilliant, uh, and the micro freak. Don't mind the micro freak, but it sounds a little bit thin. Or they haven't done the the new update to it, where apparently it, it, you can make it sound like an uh, OP six. <clears throat> and then after that, we have the acid boxes. Uh, uh, Zox box, TB03, TB3, and the MAM, which is run through uh, through a distortion pedal as well. Um, then your Sherman filter bank, which is connected to the kicks. Uh, and yes, only one, two, three, four, five chaos pads in there at the moment. I've got a mini chaos pad on the Micro Freak and a mini chaos pad on the SP555, which handles all of my vocal samples. The chaos pads come out of the master MX1 uh, and then go in a parallel line. So into the chaos pad three, into the chaos pad two, and then into this chaos pad two. The reason I do that is so that you can have this chaos pad at a third of the BPM to this chaos pad. So it creates a da 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 And then this one for just a while oh, kind of stuff. No, I wondered how you did that. Right. Yeah, pe it. people hate it. People hate it. People are like, I love your set, but what you do with that chaos pad, I'm going to swear again, <laughs> fucking hate it. It's like, yeah, but how am I supposed to move the track on, you know? No, 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 absolutely. Um, Reckonton was just saying MIDI routing as well. I'm presuming everything's coming oh. out of the MX all the way yep. through. Yep, yep, literally. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yep, you can now. Yep. So, yeah, out of this one, straight into a MIDI through down here, and then into everything else. The Sherman has actually got, like, three MIDI outs, is it? Uh, three MIDI throughs. So the, the the line comes into the Sherman and then goes into the chaos pads to keep them locked into the BPM, but not that one. So yeah, MIDI routing is is is, is stupidly simple now. Uh, it was taking me nearly two hours to to set up before with other bits of kit, and this one is is you know up in an hour and a bit. I mean that's the thing, isn't it? You you got the job of a drummer, you know, taking yeah. up yeah. and down and yeah. water. Wow, wow. And that's why I built a smaller rig, and the smaller rig ended up being quite a big rig, and it's just like, oh, God. yeah, less, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still slightly less things to carry around, but ah, oh, yeah. fabulous. Uh, Movement eighty one, fascinating insight into the mind. I'd love to talk to you guys as well. Movement eighty one, as I mentioned, you may have missed it earlier, but that would be great. I want to see how you get your modular stuff mixed in with everything else, and uh, a big, big hello to Chew It as well, who I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so let's, where's his Moe? Moe. Got the mohi he gets trimmed, on. but this does never get trimmed. Oh, so. look at that. Oh, look at that. Punky dog. Uh, Richard Hilton minored in saxophone at college. So, like I said, he is absolutely the, the total 100% god of everything uh, musical. So, thank you for that, Richard. So, now we know. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so, so much. What an amazing – thank you for your time. I know you're absolutely shattered anyway after Clown Fest. You're still nonstop working. Um I guess the best thing, I'll put links below this after the show. It's been brilliant. The viewing figures have been off the scale across all of the, the stuff. So absolutely brilliant. Thank you for everyone that's watch, watched and contributed and been there and put up with the slightly lower key version of me sitting here with no sound effects, particularly apart from <laughs> just, just kind of doing my best. But I think I think we got away with it. it was worth doing rather than not, which is, which is brilliant, I think. Um, but thank you to everybody who's watched. Um, thank you especially to Mark, um, Pierre the Acid Clown. And in terms of following you, I mean, you're on everything, aren't you? So Facebook on the URL, and Pierre the Acid Clown. You're on Insta, it's Pierre the Acid Clown. I mean, where's your, where are you most prevalent on would you say in terms of getting in touch with you and following you in, in one hit it d depends uh, on how much banter you're willing to put up with <laughs> if you if you're willing to put up with the most banter then follow my personal pages if not then go over to the clowns page because that's more serious uh, uh, yeah, but the, yes, down on facebook yeah, then on yeah. facebook uh, i'm on instagram soundcloud i think i'm on mixcloud as well but i don't really use those platform uh youtube because i the, the, what i do is very visual it has been from the start so youtube is my medium and it's literally if if you put it in date order it's like from the start the first video i made right till now which if you don't mind i'm gonna i'm gonna get this file off you and put this one up there as well if they're just because yeah, it's, it's it's literally yeah. it's just a, a documentation if yeah, in yeah. like five years as I die in some amazingly crazy accident, you know, a bizarre gardening um, accident to quote Spinal yeah. Taps, probably the way. Or, or don't forget that coconut thing. 
Yeah, no, it could happen. It could happen. Uh, Netflix are going to need a reference for the special. So that's why this is all documented as it is. Perfect. Perfect. Well, you can definitely have this. I might have a bit of a problem uh, downloading over the Wi-Fi here, but I can send you the link. That'll be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, thanks for the love in the chat. Some really lovely comments. Obviously, this has been absolutely wonderful. Um, we'll do it all again next week under slightly different circumstances. And, uh, yeah, take care, everyone. Big love to you all. Do please hit the likes and subscribes and all that. Um, and also pop over to Piero the Acid Clown. And go and hit the likes and subscribes on that as well, um, just so you've got us all covered. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. And all I need to do is find the outro music. Take care, everybody. Bye for Thank now. Thank you very much, Tom. Connect so we see our pipe Link up we harmonize Let's be termite But be an obsolete Blessings are birthright To live a life Which all a lot Warm in us all Worldwide Cosmic love energy Of our purpose Have free Organic Alive is there worthwhile Watch the way One of you Take term white In terms of definitions And some termites Get side check the eye One side is defined By one side The other I E I am An idea Is mine I assign Two miles of the Qualities of my guy Who's we if I'm talking like there's two of me One is a construct, one is a creativity The supreme one, I'll encompassing information In and of itself, most definitely Most of the life in it, most life in it Beyond the scripture, nice and niceness can be Blessed be, I tune you all in, sir Big up with being, I tune you